Vincent Corporation in Tampa, Florida. It's the 13th of November, 2019. We're going to start with some celery root balls uh, just to see what happens in the shredder. And then we'll run it through a press here uh, just to load up the press. Celery root ball, just the root ball. You can see the shredder did its job. It squeezes a stream of juice out if you want celery juice. And we're getting a little bit of pre-run juice coming out of this right from the beginning. We'll get some water coming out at the juice because nothing's packed in there. It's just conveying what celery. So it'll, it'll start dripping pretty soon. Then we'll get cake. Next, we're going to try some uh, just chopped up celery. Pieces are a little long for this press, but uh, drop them in and see what happens. And start pressing. Still getting some juice out, but that's from the original uh, root balls. My cone is starting to open. Notice this over here. Oh, yeah. That's where the. Do you want so that's the original root that? No. Okay. Okay, we're still getting a uh, root ball out. And uh, so we're going to feed in. Another pail of uh, chopped shell celery. Horse chop. So far, so good. We're still getting some cake out. We're getting some juice out. We've got 30 psi on the uh, discharge air pressure. Juice out of the uh, unshredded celery. Look at this cake coming out here. I can see some celery that has not really been chopped up or squeezed. If we had shredded this, if we'd shredded this, we would uh, particle size, but we could get a lot more juice out of this if we ran through a shredder. We ran the uh, all our sh celery through. And so this is whole celery, three quarter inch size, but notice splitting the celery, you get free liquid out. Okay, this is the shredded celery going in, getting it started. Don't have any cake yet. Hold up a second. Okay. okay, there I can see the fly of the screw. It's feeding real well. Getting juice out. No cake yet. I want to start the test as soon as I get cake coming out. We're 20 seconds into our test. I lowered the air pressure to 15 psi. We're done. We're done. And uh, we'll, I'll call a stop of the test in a second here. Now it's starting to put the spinach into the uh, We're up at uh, 120 hertz, 40 RPM. Did I hear it slow down? <laughs> no. We're still getting out celery juice. Aha, uh -huh. there's some uh, spinach juice. Out. Wow, I'm surprised it's feeding on its own accord. Yeah. 
there I can see the two. Go ahead. It's kind of bad, too. Yeah, that was a good one. This is finished. Yes, this is our time test. We're uh, a minute into the test with uh, unshredded fresh spinach. We're not going to be able to shred it if I go into it. You're Bob? Pardon? I'm out. So probably have one box left. Okay, wait, we'll... And... There's a discharge screen. It worked perfectly in the celery and it's all gummed up. Feeding what spinach we had. This is the shredded spinach, and uh, we really didn't have enough to get any cake to come out. Just a little bit here. Juicing is coming out okay, but spinach juice coming out nicely. Inlet hopper probably in. 